All right, hi everyone. My name is uh, Guy Ziskind. I'm the co-founder and CEO of uh, Enigma. And I want to tell you today about the technology that we've been building. It's actually been in the works for several years now. Started here at MIT, so it's good to be back. And um, also I want to introduce you to the concept of secret contracts. I'm sure all of you have heard of smart contracts. Now I want you to hear what secret contracts are. Right, so Enigma is really building groundbreaking uh, scalable privacy solutions that allow you to build end-to-end -end scalable decentralized applications. Now first of all, let's explain what are decentralized applications or dApps as they're known, known for short. So dApps are actually applications that are built on technologies like blockchain and smart contracts, which means they have no single point of failure and no single point of trust. That is their strength, that is their advantage, which means they are robust, transparent, uh, unstoppable, and um, trustless, completely trustless. That's their beauty. Now what they really mean is that they bring us back to the original vision of the internet, which has over time become much more centralized than we would hope. Now, don't get me wrong, centralized applications and services give us a lot of value. You know, the, the applications here on this board we're using them day, day, day in and day out, whether we want to or whether we don't. But it's a matter of fact, because they have a centralized point of failure, that they often fail to protect our data. And we've seen that with these recent examples. So my question to you is, can we actually build dApps like that, maybe something like a decentralized Uber, that are scalable enough and that are private enough that they can do better than current centralized applications? And let's take the Uber as an example, a decentralized Uber as an example. So Uber today has data on millions of people, and that includes location data, payment data, uh, and a lot more personal uh, identifiable information about all of you. So it would be a good thing to decentralize that. And let's examine two ways that our people are trying to write decentralized applications today. So one option is to just put everything on the blockchain, you know, use something like Ethereum. But that model, and not many people know or understand that, actually fails from the get-go. And that's because all data on the blockchain is completely public. Now, I don't know what about you. I don't want my location data, definitely not my personal information, contacts, and payment data to be completely visible for everyone in the world to see. That's not gonna happen. If Uber were today to come and say, hey, we're opening our databases for everyone, I mean, everyone would basically stop using it. So that's not an option, but that's actually what's happening today. The other problem is scalability. So right now, computing and storing data on chain is prohibitive, it's super expensive, and it's very, very slow. So it doesn't scale to nearly these kind of data sets. Okay, so this is the second paradigm that has been shifting. So in the last couple of years, um, people have basically started to understand, okay, we can't just do everything on chain, let's go off chain. But that's, what does going off chain really mean? What we're seeing is people are basically taking all the sensitive information, data, business logic, and just putting it back on AWS. So we're, we're, go, we're getting some kind of weird hybrid solution that is actually worse of original centralized applications because it's, it inherits all the weaknesses of centralized applications, but also all the complexity of deploying decentralized applications. And one of these, one of the issues with decentralized applications is what happens if you want to update the code. That's a very hard thing to do. So it's really the, be the sorry, it's really the worst of both. So naturally, the, the solutions today are not enough. They don't work. And what, it's, what is important to realize that if we don't have a scalable solution to data privacy on the blockchain, on the central, for decentralized applications, then they are completely useless. There's no way for us to use them today right now. And that's something that needs fixing. And this is where Enigma comes in. Uh, Enigma is really a, a new protocol that is being built from the ground up where data privacy is a first class citizen. And we're focusing on that. So to kind of give you like a general idea, the uniqueness of Enigma is that it allows computation over encrypted data. That means that nodes in the network can actually process information that they do not see. That's the secret sauce. And that's what we really need to create end-to-end -end decentralized applications and not hybrid applications that are mostly off-chain and a bit on-chain. 
Enigma is not new. As I said, it was started here uh, as a research under the supervision of Sandy Pentland. Uh, we were working on this together. We wrote a paper in 2015 called Decentralizing Privacy. It now has more than 200 citations, so it's becoming very, very popular. I believe it's one of the most cited papers in the space. Uh, later that year, we released the white paper of Enigma, which uh, got covered in a bunch of places, got like 100,000 downloads uh, very quickly. So the project gained popularity very, very quickly, even when it started here as a research at MIT. And since then, we've been working on developing that. Uh, and now we have a team of like close to 20 people focusing on building this vision exactly. Now, this is the key to Enigma. It's what we call secret contracts. So secret contracts are basically like smart contracts, but where the data itself remains private at all times. And that is done by the fact that the nodes themselves, the nodes that are actually computing the smart contracts and operating on the smart contracts, don't have access to the data itself. So that means that any data that is stored on the ledger, any data that is stored on the Enigma network and that is being used is never revealed to anyone but the intended participant. And that is, where, and that is why it can uh, keep data privacy at all times. Now the key to this is to remember that secret contracts are basically better smart contracts. So smart contracts, as we showed, cannot really do something like a decentralized Uber, cannot really do almost all of the decentralized applications people are promising they can build with it. Right now it's really a pipe dream. But with secret contracts, you can do a lot. You can now use sensitive data on chain, on decentralized applications, and that includes PII, even very sensitive information like biometric data uh, or others. What's even more interesting is that it allows different organizations to share data, even if they're competing. So there are many reasons why organizations would want to share data with each other, but they can today, either for legal reasons or competitive reasons. One organization or one government does not want to reveal their own data because that's their power to their competitors. But what if we can do something like a secret contract where they come in together, they define some business logic, and they can run computations on the encrypted data without seeing each other's data in the clear. That's very powerful. And that can also reduce, sorry, that can also reduce the liability associated, uh, the legal liabilities associated with uh, uh, handling sensitive data. So really Enigma is what unlocks the power of decentralized applications to the entire industry. As I said, right now, industries like healthcare, uh, finance, identity, credit, insurance, they really cannot use uh, the blockchain or decentralized uh, technologies. With Enigma, the hope is that it would serve the gateway for them to come in and start using these technologies at scale. So if you're interested in se on secret contracts and these cool new technologies, uh, come talk to me or email me. You can find me at guy at enigma.co. And um, that's pretty much it. Thank you very much. Thank you.